is up guys welcome back to the channel walking on water in today's episode we are out here fishing the wind rivers for spring chinook salmon we're going to talk about setups hopefully catch you guys a giant freaking fish today and we're just going to fish and have a ton of freaking fun if these videos help you or you just like watching the content like subscribe and share it out to one of your buddies or your friends if they want to learn stuff about fishing it will help them a lot so and if you just enjoy the content so Stay tuned, hopefully bring you guys a giant spray Chinook. All right, what color, what line, what reel, what socks? <laughs> what color? There you go. Too. Morning. Morning. How are you guys doing? Doing good, man. Good. I see you on YouTube post from Drano when there was like 50 over the dam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew that was you. Luck, dude. That's awesome. Good I was, for you, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I drive down from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, so it made it all worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool to be able to fish down in these locations because everybody's so freaking nice. There we go, baby. Fish on. I'm coming right at your lines. Can you reel that one in, please? Finally, missed one earlier. Just praying for a redemption fish and we got it. Of course it's on the long rod. Fuck. Yeah. 
this in neutral. guys so it's been an absolute freaking crazy morning fish on pretty much right off the bat and I lost it and then unfortunately I got another fish on it was pretty massive and it was on my long rod so I went to freaking lift up on it and it took another run and it snapped my leader and then five minutes later we got on this jack salmon right here absolutely gorgeous little fish there's like a limit of like five or six on these out here in Wind River and so we're gonna keep this bad boy and we're gonna go get on another big old freaking Chinook. So stay tuned. UV burst 1.5 max Smiley blade above three beads on a prawn rig. If you want to learn how, learn how to tie up that prawn rig, go over to my channel, Walking on Water, and look up the video, and you will learn exactly how we're catching these fish out here on the Columbia River. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get into some more fish. All right guys, so rigging this coon shrimp. We're gonna grab the hook, put our coon shrimp upside down, grab our hook, right down through the back of the meat, right out through the side, and down just like that, without hooking yourself. Then we're gonna take the line, do a half hitch, twist it over, Open up the tail. Suck it down tight, just like that. I got crowd, yo. No, you're good. You your fish suspended? What? You getting them suspended? Or? I'm getting them on the bottom and suspended. Or not getting them on the bottom and suspended. <laughs> Fair. Well, I can't land a fish to save my life, so. No, I just, my leader broke. I freaking got it on the long rod and I went to lift it up and it was way too far away for me to even try to net it. And so I tightened the drag a little bit to give it a rip and it ran and just snapped my leader. Lost a rod holder out here the other day, so if you catch one, I'll take that. <laughs> I like see the flasher like sit there and then like went like, you know, I always think there's a fish that catch freaking fish flies. That's awesome. Oh, 
Oh, please, God, don't let me lose this one. Come on. Please. I mean, people left and right were asking me, I mean, God's so good. I mean, I got down here and I was just hooking fish left and right. And there's people out there that haven't even hooked a fish yet. And I ended up hooking into four. So extremely lucky and extremely blessed. So thank you, Lord, for that. And it's just freaking so sick. But people were asking me, um, were you getting them off the bottom or on the top? Or where are you getting them at? Because we're not getting any. And then right after they asked that question, they linked up and got one. And not but like 10 seconds later, I got linked up, got one. So we're going to go back and flay this thing up. If you guys want to learn how to tie any of these setups that you're seeing that I'm using in the video, go over to my channel, Walking on Water. Please like, subscribe, and share, guys. Share it out to your buddies. Share it out to your family members. Get them down here and get on some big old freaking Chinook, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Walking on Water. I'm Cole Walker, and I will see you in the next one.